Hi, I'm Brian English, Wapler Forum name Hyperbytes. In this module, we're going to add our first menu to our uh, public facing website. So I've closed everything down. All we have now is the index page, the home page, and we have the layout page main. Because we want this menu to appear on every section, we're actually going to add the menu to the template. By adding the template, by default, it will then appear in all of the um, content pages above it because they're encapsulated by the um, layout. So really, really simple. We're going to right click where it says app there. We're going to select blocks. We're really lucky because there's quite a few different blocks that are defined here. So we've got logo left, logo center, brand left, brand center. We've got um, a brand menu, brand plus menu. We've got a brand menu right. Um, one with social so we, we can choose our menu based on that um, but actual fact if you do this add a container and back into blocks navigation you will find that there are a lot more menus available um, so it's worth it's always worth experimenting between looking at the straight into app or straight into a container because uh, better but in actual fact, we shouldn't really be using container because this is a header. So we're actually going to use header, which is a, f a particular form of container. Now we're going to our blocks, into our navigation. We've got the ones that are appropriate to go on the header. I'm just going to use a full nav bar anyway. And it just gives you a very simple um, nav bar. It shows you a single link, homepage link, a single link, a drop down and what a disabled link looks like. It also shows you how to set a separator between different sections within the menu. This is a title basically, so I'm just gonna give it the name of the website. We're always gonna have a home page link. We'll deal with that, but this drop down I want to make into the um, the login logout. So having clicked on that, if we come over here, click on, we can see our drop down menu options are there. Double click in the drop down and we'll call this um, account. And within that, say if you hold control and click on the action or the, uh, the button, it will open the menu. Our first one is going to be a login. Our second one is going to be a logout. And then I'm going to leave that under bar there. And then we're going to actually have a my account section so that the user can actually see what um, is happening with their account, what settings they have, etc. in their account. Login we've got already, we've got, if we click on that, we can go over here, look at the links, we can go into our routing and we can simply take them to the login link. That's done, no bother at all. We don't have a logout link yet. I didn't want to create that until such time as we actually had a menu to link it to. Um, but also we want to make sure that this login link doesn't appear if the person is logged in. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to have to look at doing something similar that we did within the um, page itself. We can actually add that server connect, who am I option into our uh, Content page, which means we don't need to link it in with it. Sorry, into our layout page, so we don't need to link it into all of our content pages. That will always be available to um, who am I? Lost concentration for a moment there, folks. Sorry. And um, if we call that who am I action within that layout page and that means that's going to be available in every single content page that we have we could actually now go back and in fact we should really go back now and take that out of the content page on the uh, validate codes read and adjust that action accordingly 
but for the moment let's stick with what we're, where we're at so we now know that we can click on login and we can actually now hide it so we can say sorry attributes display and we can say let's hide it and how do we hide it well we're going to hide it if the identity is equal to zero or less than one as you know I've got funny little quirks we all do um, I like to say less than one rather than equal to zero so now and you see it's actually disappeared because we're logged in within this that the uh, the login has disappeared so let's go into our index page let's open that up let's have a look at our account you see now because we're logged in that login option has disappeared but it is showing a logout we can now just do the reverse of that once we need so once we've written our logouts API actions so I think we'll probably it's a good time to do that next